What's up everyone, Erica here and I'm back today with another video for you. Welcome back to my channel friends. I am so happy to have you here. Happy New Year. If this is the first time you are clicking on my channel in 2024, then welcome. We're kicking butt this year, you guys. This is going to be our year. It's still early enough in the year where I can say that and feel confidently about it. Oh my goodness, you guys. Back in November, my mom, Juliana, and myself were fortunate enough to attend a premiere of Disney Wish, the new film that came out uh, right before Thanksgiving. We were able to attend the viewing of it at Walt Disney Studios. It was completely something that rocked my world, made me so emotional. It's, it's an experience I will never forget. It was absolutely incredible. I mean, I frequent Disneyland. As you know, I'm a Disneyland local. I've been there a million times. And of course it does give me the, feel, the feels, right? Every time I'm there, um, Disneyland is, I feel Walt's presence, okay? As cheesy as it, be, as it might sound to you, every time I'm there, it's like, I know Walt is around being like, Erica, I'm here to guide you to make sure you have just like a wonderful time. <laughs> so I do know that Walt will be there like I just I just can feel his presence and like I I can just imagine that his presence is just there okay so but I will say this is just different being at Walt Disney Studios for the very first time in Burbank California it was just I was overcome with emotion I was so overwhelmed and I felt so fortunate to be there it was a magical experience to say the least I know that Walt walked at Disneyland but to be at the studios where so many of my favorite characters, my childhood characters have been created and to walk the streets or walk the halls of, you know, where all these characters were imagined and uh, st all these stories were written. It was just so moving and so incredible and so inspiring. I wasn't sure that this hall would be something that I would film like, you know, a video dedicated to it, but I did kind of want to share the story of like being there with you guys because it was so magical so incredible and i something i just won't soon forget juliana and i took lots of pictures at uh dopey drive and that iconic uh you know street sign and it was just wonderful we had so many wonderful fond magical memories like we just went up for the day to go see the movie and it was incredible so the haul that i'm sharing with you guys today when we arrived we checked in and we did have a lot of time to kind of just walk around and see the streets and kind of just get a, a feel for it. And I will be honest, to be there during the 100th anniversary of Disney and, you know, Once Upon a Studio had come out this year and that is just like one of my most favorite things ever. It was so special to be there. I mean, it was just magical. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't have any other way to phrase it. <laughs> but before the movie started, we had some time to shop over at the cast member store. And that's the haul that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. But not only is it just like a regular shop Disney store, but for cast members next to it or like attached to it was a store that is specific for cast members only. So but cast members of Walt Disney Studios. So if you went there and you were a cast member, that is a store that like these items are limited for you. And uh, <laughs> it was great. Like I will be sharing with you guys something that I did purchase from that store. I did accidentally buy something that said cast member on it. That's not something that I like to do. <laughs> yeah, I will be sharing with you guys what I did purchase from that store. Uh, but <laughs> one thing that I do wish they would have kind of like fixed or one thing that did kind of bum me out, there was a piece of art that I was going to buy for myself. The, I believe the piece, the artwork itself is called like five, it's five o'clock or something like that. And it is all of the characters busting through the doors of Walt Disney Studios like five o'clock on Friday. Like everyone's like, bye, have a good weekend. And they're all like busting out of the doors. I was actually in line and I ch was checking out and they were like, sorry, you're not a cast member. You can't buy that. And that bummed me out. It was like doing the walk of shame. And I was so sad because that was probably one of the things I was the most excited to buy. So I was a little disappointed that they didn't like take that stuff down or like either sell everything that you guys have out or take down the stuff that isn't going to be available for cast members. I hate being like a Karen and complaining about stuff like that, but it, it, 
bummed me out because like I had my I was like admiring it and I was like I can't wait I was starting to think about where I was gonna put it and they like had to take it away from me at the register and I saw it happen to a few people after me which was like a total bummer um, but other than that everything else that I had with me was you know for sale and I was good to go so and it was just such a wonderful experience right before um, we were one of the last ones to leave because like I literally just couldn't stop marveling at everything and I don't care if you guys think I'm cheesy. I don't even care. I don't even care. <laughs> I don't care if it's cheesy or unbelievable or anything like that. But it was like I already was just having such a wonderful time and so just experiencing and taking everything in. But right before we were about to leave, okay, I had taken my time. I We had to go back. I went back to the store and made another purchase. That's when I got one of the items I'm going to be sharing with you guys. Um, when I had gone back... I like we had shopped before the movie we watched the movie I'm kind of all over the place I'm so sorry you guys so before the movie I wanted to share this with you guys we were able to hear from the head storyteller which was something that was so cool he was uh you know telling us how you develop a character and you know it's easy when it's like somebody like Asha right like things that you character traits and things like that but he was saying how do you establish the character of a star that's been around for centuries and has seen so much like how do you give characteristics or a personality to a star and it was really cool hearing the insight of that and something else that i loved he was a head storyteller or story writer i think for encanto which you guys like the moment i heard that i was like he was just saying uh one story that i wanted to share with you guys that i thought was so cool and such like a kind of sad but like really great little uh tidbit or something fun to know was he was saying that when they were establishing the character of uh, bruno he was uh in the middle of like the pandemic and he was at home something that he had to like reteach himself was how to eat in front of people because he's like you know i was used to being at home like eating my bowl of cereal for dinner like hunched over because we were in quarantine by ourselves for so long so he put that to Bruno like he was like you know Bruno has been by himself for so long he's not really like a part of the family so I imagine him being like hunched over at the table by himself like he was thinking of himself during COVID and that those were a lot of the characteristics that they gave Bruno so it is a little bit sad because poor Bruno but it's just things like that that I love I love knowing things like that so I thought I would share that with you guys Another super cool thing, if you guys have seen the movie Wish, um, the queen is, uh, the queen of Rosas is one of my favorite characters and she is just such a badass, you know. Uh, I did not see that coming. I did not know that she would be a favorite character of mine, but uh, she was there. She was in the theater and we kind of got to not like meet her, but we did see her and we like waved to her and stuff, but she, we got to meet the, uh, the lady who voiced her. So that was also something super cool. Yeah, so back to my story of like how we were kind of the last ones there. We had to use the restroom and, you know, get Juliana all situated before we were going to make the long trek back home to San Diego because it was a little over two hours. So we're kind of like getting our stuff together. I had to go pick up all of the stuff that we purchased. They did have like a little like bag check so you didn't have to hold all your merch while you're watching the movie. So I did that. I went back and while I was over there, I saw that there was like no line. There wasn't any line for the uh, cast member merchandise. So I went back and that's when I bought myself something else, um, this jacket that I will be sharing with you guys later. And um, so when we were leaving, my mom was like, I'm gonna take Juliana to the bathroom, whatever. Okay, fine. So they went and then we were like one of the last ones and they closed the gates, they closed the doors to the theater. And I'm like, shoot. And I saw a lady kind of like, you know, she had like a walkie talkie. So I'm like, she's obviously a cast member here. So I said, is there any way that I could get back in there we have a kind of a long ride home and I need to use the restroom and she's like um she's like looking around she goes come here really quick I got to go in to the art of animation you guys the art of animation literally a hotel is inspired by it I got to go into this random just because we were one of the last ones there and she didn't want to she said I don't want to like make them all open up the doors and everything all over again so let's just take you in here she didn't even like she just said the doors are open go ahead i walk in and there's this gigantic picture of walt and i'm like <sighs> i was like hit with a ton of oh, you guys i peed crying okay i have no shame in that <laughs> it was like a sign you see what i'm saying 
I don't care if you think I'm crazy. It was totally a sign for me to have an additional magical moment aside from like everybody else that was there, okay? Everyone else had left. I wasn't trying to be the last one there, but we just kind of were. And yeah, it was phenomenal. I mean, I walk in and she did tell me it's like the first door on your right, but it's like I had to walk past this little, you know, walkway and it had a beautiful picture of Walt. And I just was like, it was like he greeted me. I walked through the door and I didn't know what to expect and he was right there. And then on the side of the wall, from floor to ceiling were a bunch of stills of just movies throughout the year throughout the years and it was just fantastic i went to the bathroom and i was like i just can't believe that i got this little moment to myself um and yeah i didn't take pictures or anything like that i didn't want to be disrespectful but uh i did take my time walking out <laughs> and i looked a little bit and it was just incredible such a wonderful time and i just kind of wanted to share some of the special moments with you guys so i will do my best to be quiet now and I will get into everything that we purchased from Walt Disney Studios. So Juliana got this huge star plushie from Wish, the film, and he does uh, light up. He's adorable. I do love him. She got the plushie of Asha as well and she's beautiful. Juliana does collect those little dolls, so she's got a pretty extensive collection of those. Um, I think she only got a couple of other things which I do have in the bag, so let me go ahead and move on with this. Um, so one of the first things that I saw that I about lost my mind were these ears. Now, I have quite the ear collection. It's forever growing. I'm gifted ears. I'm in the year of the ear collaboration uh, swap. I do purchase ears at the parks from time to time. So I try not to buy ears unless I feel like I absolutely need them. And these were absolutely one of them. I had been telling friends who I knew were going to the park, I've been telling my friends who frequent the park pretty often to please keep their eyes out for these Disney 100 ears. This design specifically really caught my eye for the um, Disney 100, you know, designs that they came out with. So it is, you know, band leader Mickey and he is in, you know, just like his conductor pose. But this is like, I forget what this is called, but it's like the music one. Um, it's like the wonder of sound or something. I could totally be making that up, but we have so many different versions of music in a bunch of Disney films. But of course, the reason I was obsessed with it is because we had Mirabelle right here with her, um, what do you call this? Why can't I think of it? Accordion? Accordion? Um, Mickey, this Mickey is just one of my favorites as well, like band conductor Mickey. But you guys, we have Big Al with his guitar. And we have Louis and Tiana. We have Jeannie right here. It's just, um, we have Mei Mei from Turning Red. We have Miguel, Tangled, like Rapunzel with her guitar. Just so many favorites of mine. And you can't not love these. Like, we have Scat Cat. We have um, Elsa, Stitch. I just, so many movies that I love, that I love. And, you know, um... Coco is a favorite of mine and obviously Aladdin is a favorite of mine, but it's like characters that you don't really see like from the Aristocats, you hardly ever see Scat Cat, right? And I don't know. I just think they're so wonderful. I love the variety of characters and look at the back. They're like this beautiful watercolor. They have the Disney 100 logo on the back. I just love, love, love these. So the bow actually has ultraviolet ink. So I think it's like if it's they're glow in the dark or if you hold them up to the light, they kind of glow. I haven't really tried that out for myself, um, but they do, you can feel it. So then on the bow, um, it does have the Disney 100 logo and they have music notes, but one of the music notes has like a hidden Mickey. One of the music notes has the butterfly from Encanto, which you guys know has like a huge meaning to me. Um, one of them has the harp from is it Fantasia? Fantasia? Uh, one of them has Mickey's drum. Such a clever idea. I love them so much. I just think they're like an actual piece of art. I do love that they're white, but I don't, the material doesn't seem like it's gonna stain too easy. I just love them so much. I think they're beautiful. And I can totally, like this is an outfit I would absolutely wear to the parks. I'm sad that the Disney 100 is like over this year. I want it to continue on forever, but alas. <laughs> Got to move on to the next celebration. Okay, so one of the next purchases that I bought for myself is 
this really cute zip up jacket so th this is part of the store that was like for the cast members only and it was a lot of walt disney studio specific merchandise which i definitely wanted something to like commemorate my first visit there um so here on the breast it says the walt disney studios in burbank california and i love this color it's like a not necessarily a navy blue but like a light navy blue but the back has this gorgeous design of the studio so here we have the tower um and then of course we have like the different i'm sure you guys know of the one with the seven dwarves i'm sure you know the building with um like the animation studio where uh once upon a studio is filmed and it's with the sorcerer mickey hat and it just says the walt disney studios in burbank california on the back this jacket you guys i've already been wearing it so much it's getting these little like bolitas i don't know what else to call them i think it got rubbed up on a part of jack's stroller that has the um like velcro so i'm kind of bummed about that because it's like i, I can't just go back and get this jacket you know but it's okay i, I literally like want to put it on because it's perfect right now because it's not you know it's cold but like not freezing so it's just like the perfect little jacket i might wear this for the duration of the video but it covers up my cute my cute little mickey yeah, this shirt was like six bucks at Walmart. Is it not so cute? We have like Mickey, Stitch, um, Dumbo, Alice. I forget who else, but it's so cute. I love it so much. We did get a lot of um, Disney Wish posters. That was kind of just given to us there at, you know, the premiere. Juliana has a huge one hanging up in her playroom, in the kids' playroom. So one thing that we bought for Jack is something that like I don't have with me because... It was um, a my first Christmas pajama, like a little onesie. And um, because it was like a cast member store, I think we did get it for a discount and, you know, annual pass holder discount, I think. I think, I'm not sure. But um, one, the last thing that we did get, Jack, I'm putting this in air quotes because I wanted this so bad, you guys. It was part of the Disney 100's Decades toy. Um, the original price is for um, was $29.99, but can you guys see what it is? I like don't even want to take it out of the bag. Okay. It is this rescue. Oh, they fell right out. <laughs> Evan Rude begin too crazy on here. So it is um, this little set of plushies, and it's Bernard and Bianca in the little leaf boat. But look at you guys. Can you freaking even like it is literally Evan Rude on the end and they've got they've got his little legs even but like are you like look at how cute he is and he's guiding the boat so it is in this little leaf boat we've got the CVS receipts for every character see but I do love that um they are like limited edition or like a special series so they each have the little tag that says Disney 100 decades and this one says six of ten I really, really wanted the Oliver and Company set of plushies as well, and they had it there. But I, you know, I didn't want to come home with 100 plushies. This was my priority. I just can't. I cannot with this. So that was one of the few things that Jack got from our little haul. <laughs> Something Juliana picked up was this super cute um, little, like, nightgown. She's super into these little nightgown dresses, but it is a, a very cute little rainbow design and it's got this sheer glitter top on the front but i liked it because um they have all the characters on it including clarabelle Ugh. i am not a fan of clarabelle you guys will have to let me know if you like her i'm like when did she get like so she got she gets the right to everything like i get offended when i see clarabelle on things and not daisy I'm like what are you thinking <laughs> um so we have it's nice though because she's not on like the front part here. I don't hate Clarabelle, let me be clear. I just feel like she hasn't earned her way yet. Like she she, she has not earned the right to be on all the merch. Um, so here we have obviously Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, Donald, Pluto, Daisy, but then uh, Goofy's holding Chip and Dale. But Clarabelle and I was gonna say Horace, but I don't think he's on, oh yeah, Horace is on here. Okay, so we even got Clarabelle and Horace on the little um like design of the dress so anyway really cute um, i mean nothing super special for walt disney studios but you know juliana just like had to have it okay so this is the pair of ears that i bought not knowing it was a cast member exclusive and they are these beautiful 
Disney 100 ears. These ears, I thought they were so beautiful and I was so happy that I was able to buy them because I know that I had seen them before, but I, I was like, I feel like I haven't seen them much. Like I, they aren't an ear that I've seen too much. That is because <laughs> these are the pair of ears that I bought that were cast member exclusive ears I did not know. I did not know. Um, I just thought that they were so beautiful. They reminded me of Spaceship Earth. Um, they're so beautiful and just feel really cool. Like these ears are freezing right now. Um, but they have the beautiful little uh, pin of the Disney 100. If you guys can see, they glitter and gleam. But then here on the side, you know, the headband's got this like galactic gl glitter silver vibe to it. I feel like the bow is very like spaceship earth or like um, space mountain. But so yeah, here on the side, it says Disney cast member. So yeah, they are cast member ears. I did not know. Okay, I did not want to be like faking the funk, pretending I'm a cast member. I did not want anything that said cast member on it because I don't ever want to give the impression that that's that I am a cast member. One can dream. <laughs> but I thought they were so beautiful. They were on clearance actually. We got these for $20, but I'm obsessed. So these were the two ears that I bought there. All right, so the last two things I wanted to share with you guys, and I feel like I should go ahead and tell the story of the item that I wasn't able to purchase because it is so sad. <laughs> I'm in line, and this is kind of what everyone's doing. Like, you have to picture this, okay? This is a special event, so everyone that's in line is not a cast member, right? I'm kind of assuming that because people have, like, arms full of stuff. And if you wanted something specific from the cast member portion of the store, like the one that's specific to Walt Disney Studios, that's a separate line that you need to be in line for. So the Disney store part, there was a line, but if you wanted anything from the inside of the attachment to the store, which was cast member exclusive, you had to wait in a different line. You could not pay for that stuff over there. So like in the cast member only line, people are loaded up, okay? They have jackets, they have Pixar stuff, they have, like if you're, you wanted like a Pixar cast member thing, they had that there. Walt Disney Studios, Burbank. Um, I don't, I'm trying to think of like other things like Imagineering Team, like they had everything that you can think of. It was so incredible. So I'm looking at stuff and I'm trying to keep my eyes peeled for things that I wouldn't find at the park. Like these, I've been looking for these at the park. Those ears, I didn't really see them anywhere. Obviously, I didn't realize they were cast member ears until I got home and I was looking at our stuff. They had a little like kiosk that had Walt all over it. So you know me, I was like, mm, like a moth to a flame. So I scurried my little butt over there. And one of the things that I saw was here. Um, this is the call. Uh, this is the Colony Theater, and it says where it all began. And it shows that it's showing Steamboat Willie and Alice in Wonderland, like the show show times for the movies. So this is a set of postcards and you know, one of the quotes that really resonates with me from Walt, of course, you know, you guys know I'm like a sucker for his opening day speech at Disneyland and everyone is attached to like, if you can dream it, you can do it or it was all started with the mouse, like all of those quotes. But one that really resonates with me from Walt is we are just getting started. And that is just something that I feel like he applied to, to his entire life like he never stopped with Disney with Disneyland with Disney World like he was just constantly like going going the next thing the next thing the next thing and we're still doing that like we're greedy we don't want it to stop <laughs> give us more right so I just I love that like he's his mind was always like we're just getting started let's keep going right so here we have a few uh super adorable ones so but this one um the wonder of Disney is so cute we have Mickey here and it's just got a bunch of different icons from different films. I love it. These, I'll be honest with you, I don't see myself using them as postcards. I imagine framing all of them and making a little wall, like a little um, art gallery. So one of them says the spirit of adventure and discovery. And it's so cool. It's just very like adventurous, obviously. So we have Spider-Man, the Millennium Falcon, Buzz Lightyear, Moana on her boat. Um, and then I don't know who that is. That just looks like a big squid. I thought it was Ursula, but it's not. But the one that is down here says we are just getting started. I will give you guys a close up of these, but I wanted to show you. I got the matching notebook. So this, um, I actually think I might have seen the postcard first and then I saw what it was and then I saw this next to it. And it's a hardcover journal. Um, yeah, it's a lay flat binding journal, but I just thought I mean, look at it. 
it's just so clean and oh my gosh it's just so here's the cover of it we're just getting started i just thought like what a motivational piece and again i <laughs> i like don't want to use it because i don't want it to be tarnished or damaged in any way um, I just think it is so chic, so beautiful, and again, it matches that little postcard down here. So yeah, that's pretty much all of my haul from the Walt Disney Studios, you know, Wish premiere. Um, I think I did buy, what else did I buy from there? We did buy a tumbler, like one of the Disneyland pretty, like beautiful, shiny tumblers, but I did give that as a gift to Juliana's teacher this year. Oh, the other thing that I like completely am forgetting about kind of the same story as these this was available in the parks but i could not find it every time i was going was the ornament uh from elemental with uh wade and ember when wade takes her to go see the vivisteria flower and you know she's in the bubble so that was on our tree this year so i put it away with all of our other ornaments so i did not buy that i mean i don't have it out to share with you guys but we did purchase that there as well so that was really cool because nothing was like picked over. I was finding a lot of things that I didn't see at the park or something that really stood out to me or hold, would hold like a special meaning um, being at Walt Disney Studios. I think Juliana got something super random. Like I think that's where she got her shoulder buddy, Scary Teddy from Nightmare Before Christmas. I'm like, girl, what? What's going on right now? <laughs> if you guys get a chance to go, I highly recommend you do so. Go take a tour. It is so magical i do know that it's something that they offer it's totally something that i would do even though i've been there i would love to do a tour where people tell me specific things like this is where i don't know walt you know oh and by the way freaking uh words oh my god i'm struggling here um saving mr banks is like one of my all-time favorite live actions ever of disney or movies like i just love it so much and obviously that's where they filmed it right uh at walt disney studios the making of Mary Poppins and all of that is just so overwhelming. So I would love to take a tour to kind of get a little bit more insight and know a little more about things like that, of that nature, of um, just fun tidbits about Walt because give me all the Walt knowledge ever, right? That's gonna do it for me today, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed my little storytelling. I'm sorry, I know I'm a talker. Um, our little haul and my little storytelling of uh, our visit to Walt Disney Studios to see Wish. It was so much fun, so much fun. I hope I'm fortunate enough to go back there. Um, it was 3,000 out of 10. Like, I just highly, I cannot say enough about it. I really recommend you guys go and take a tour if you haven't. I hope they, I hope they offer that, not me like advertising it and it's not even a thing. <laughs> I love it so much and I, I pray, I pray to go back. Like, I would just love it. I would just love it so much. That's gonna do it for me today, friends. Thank you so much. I know I talked so much, uh, but if you stuck with me through this whole thing, I just wanna thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. And I hope to see you back again for the next one. Bye.